yes, yes, the Christmas spirit. Well, uh, that was just uh, played in. Uh, that was played in uh, D flat major simple chords. It's uh, that was one, one four, five one. That's what. That's all. But if I were to uh, convert uh, those chords into contemporary soulful chords, then uh, that uh, song w would sound more, uh, more uh, interesting, more, uh, more sophisticated. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people have uh, have been contacting me about uh, music, and some of them are just uh, are just listeners, and some of them are students of music. Uh, some of them are people who want who want to learn. Uh, to learn how to play the keyboard or, or the guitar just for fun. They're not, they're not looking to be professional musicians in anything like that. So, uh, the, 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 the thing is that uh, when you have uh, those people contacting you and they are of, uh, those people they are of different levels in uh, in what they want to do in music. Some of them just want to start uh, to learn how to play the, the guitar or the keyboard, and some of them are already gurus in uh, in music, and uh, some of them are just uh, just want to have fun, but. So in that case, what I'm going to do really is to allow uh, these people to uh, interact with me and and with uh, one another, so so we can have uh, some constructive, some productive uh, um, uh, discussions about music, stuff like that. So I'm going to I'm going to create a group, and the name of the group uh, I think is going to be is going to be uh, the the solid the solid bond of music. I'm I'm going to create. Uh, that uh, group page and then all those people that are that are contacting me they can go in they can go to the page uh, they can go into the page and and share the, their views um, uh, they can even they would be, they will be able to uh, post uh, their own videos they will be able to give advice to to uh, to other musicians to to um, other guitar players or uh, keyboard players or or music. Uh, or, uh, they will be able to um, to uh, tackle different uh, subjects of, uh, in music uh, uh, through my page. So there will be some kind of interaction, some kind of, uh, the, um, uh, you know, it, it, it will be like a, a musical forum. So that's what I'm going to do, to allow us to, to uh, you know, share our views, uh, our videos in, in, in one page. Okay, um, one thing uh, that I would like to, uh, in, my, in my last video, uh, 
uh, you know, I, I posted uh, the uh, I, I I I posted something about uh, how to uh, how to learn to play the keyboard uh, just for just as just as your hobby. And then uh, I have discussed uh, the nature of of playing of knowing the names of the keys on the keyboard stuff like that and um, I illustrated how you can name the the keys uh, you know on the keyboard starting with the lowest uh, key on my keyboard and uh, if you have, uh, if you if you want to know how to name, if you just started, uh, if you if you just started in the key, if you just started to learn how to play the keyboard, you can go to the to that video and learn how to uh, how to name the keys on the keyboard. Um, Today, what I'm gonna do is uh, is actually uh, uh, tackle another way to to learn the names of the keys on on the keyboard. Yes, it is good to know the names uh, by letter, letter names like C. A, B, G, and so on. But one of the one of the best ways to to learn the keys on the notes on the keyboard is by 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 numbers. You apply numbers to each key on on your keyboard. Uh, So, if you if you count if you count the keys, if you want to know how many keys you have on your keyboard, what you got to do is start counting from the from the from the lowest key to the highest key, and you will know how how many keys you have on your particular keyboard so that need, needless to tell you that each key on on the keyboard has a number associated uh, asso asso associated with it so that means the first on my keyboard the first the first note the first key will be one number one okay and the if i go chromatically so the second one will be will be i just play c will be c sharp that's number two that uh, that if i if i'm if i'm going by half half steps if i'm counting by half steps so what um if you if you don't know how to read music knowing learning the name learning the learning the notes on the keyboard by numbers is a good thing for you because since you don't know how to read music you're not going to be it's going to be very hard for you to to look at your to find your note on on a sheet music you may be you may be looking at the at the sheet sheet music but you will not know what you look what you're looking at because you don't know how to read how to read music so i'm taking this opportunity to tell you 
even though you may not be in you may you may not be into learning music theory even though you may not be in you know you may not be um into getting really deep into music but it would it would help you a great deal a great deal if you if you know how to read basic basic notations you know like in the treble treble clef and the bass clef for example that would that really would help you it doesn't mean you have to to get deep into music theory but the basic notations like you to uh, um, on, on a sheet uh, on a music sheet if you know if you if you know how to read that then that would help you you know with your with your learning that would take you a long way so that's that that's my advice to you even though you don't really want to learn mu music theory you don't you don't want to be bothered by that but still try try to learn uh, basic basic music notations you can you can either buy do it by uh, simple by a, a, a book or you can go online and then uh, try to try try to do that that would that will help you a lot and also um, that will help you also uh, yeah, um, one 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 special way if you know how to read the uh, basic notations uh, you will be helped is uh, there's something called lead sheet that um, a lead sheet may may give you well a, a, a song may be written in a, on a lead sheet and on that lead sheet all you're going to see either you see the melody there's no there's no chords there's no chord changes that are related that are that are associated with uh, with with the melody so you're not going to see you're not going to you're not going to see chords what you could see however is chord symbols on the, on the on the measures of of the of the of the melody of the melody on the on the lead sheet. So if you know how to read the, the uh, if you know how to read how to read m basic music notation, then you'll be able to play the melody you see on the on the lead sheet, and then. By the chord sem by the chord symbols that you see on the measures, then you can play the melody on the keyboard, and you play the chords. Also, you play the chord. You can yeah, you can play the melody and the chords. Okay, by by look looking by reading the music on, on, on the lead sheet. Okay, that uh, that uh, so so. Learning how to read basic notations is 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 a will help you a, 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 a lot when it comes when it comes to reading a, a melody on a on a on a on a lead on a lead on a lead sheet. Also, you you may there are set, there there are various there are various kinds of kinds of of lead sheets you may you may find a lead sheet only with the with chord symbols without a melody 
and then uh, that's uh, that's uh, how you're going to uh, play those chords. Well, the what you what you maybe what, another another thing that you you might see on the lead sheet is is the uh, is the rhythm. Okay, maybe maybe yeah or maybe just you you may see a little sheet with uh, each bar uh, containing four four slashes that mean four beats in a in a, in, a, in a measure and then now it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be up to you to to follow if you're playing with a in a band then you're gonna follow the, the the uh the groove of the band and then you're going to create your own rhythm according according, uh, according to the groove the band is using and you will be able to find your place uh, as, as long as, as long as you stay in the pocket with the with uh, the rhythm section so so learning how to read the basic notations in in the uh, treble clef in the bass clef is very important for any music any any uh, anyone who wants to be uh, efficient in uh, in playing any instrument even as a hobby. So the uh, uh, yeah now back to the numbers to playing the keyboard using numbers in instead of uh, the letters of uh, of the uh, the letter names of the of the notes of, of the keys. Uh, those those numbers they are standard. What I mean by that is, if when you play, uh, let's say you play the C major scale. So you got. Seven, seven notes that are unique to the uh, to the major scale, and you know the names. Okay, you know the names of the of the seven of those seven notes. So you can apply seven numbers, one to each note. Okay, for example, C, one, D. Two, E three, F four, G five, A six, and then you have uh, B as a seven. But you could you could also just use the names, okay? C D E F G A B. Okay, you got the, you have the names, the letters, and you have the numbers. Now, if you play the a majors, the same major scale, if you transpose. When I when I say transpose, I mean now you're going to play a different. We do we're gonna play a different major scale. Not the C major scale. You're gonna play, for example, the F major scale. Do the seven, the seven notes in the F major scales in the F major scale are unique, are unique to the major scale. They have names also. Okay, so you go the root, the root, the root of the major of the F major scale is F. Then, if you apply the major scale, also has seven notes, 
like the C major scale, like any other major scale. So you start, note number, note number one is, is always the root of the scale. Note number one is always the root of the scale. So you start with F. Okay, F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just made it. I just made a mistake right here because I play. I play an accidental. I mean, an accidental note is a note that doesn't belong to the to the particular the particular major scale I'm playing. So the 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 mistake that I just made is that I play in the key of F. I play a B, a natural B, but it's but it is supposed to be a flat B. So I'm I'm gonna go back and rectify that. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's in the key of F. You got seven notes. So each note has a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for F major scale. Same thing for C major scale. That will be the same thing for G major scale. The same thing for for uh, uh, D flat major scale. Whatever major scale you play, those numbers are going to be the same. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you don't even have to remember the name, the names of the of the keys. You don't you don't you don't even have to remember the names of the note. All you put in your mind is the numbers. So is if you know if you play by numbers, so if I'm playing in the key, if I'm playing a song in the key of C major and I know the number the num the numbers of each note I know the number of each note so I can easily transpose those numbers to another scale and and all I have to to do is take those numbers from the C major scale and apply those apply those apply those same numbers on to the F major scale and the song is easily transposed okay from the key of C major using the numbers because those, those all the numbers are the same 1 to 7 so I, put, I take those numbers from the C7 from the C major scale I play those numbers those numbers uh, on the F major scale or D flat major scale or G major scale those are the same numbers so it's easy to transpose your your songs from key to key when you when you play when you play by by numbers instead of letters where you have to look for the notes by letters you see so that's one of that's one of the of the best way the best ways one of the best ways to learn the names of uh, of the keys of the notes on the keyboard okay so if uh, let's say you have a you have a complicated song not not complicated you have a song that you Okay, you're looking at on a sheet of music, and then you decide that, and the singer, you're going to accompany a singer, and you try, you want to adapt your music 
your 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 music your 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 you want to adapt your music to the singer to the singer's voice range so you try to play the song in the key of C major and the singer may not be comfortable in in the key of C major so you're going to try to play the song in a, in a, in a different in a different key it could be F major it could be G major so you got the sheet music in front of you so all you need to do you know you just you just take the sheet music because you have the notes on the sheet music and you know the numbers of these notes on the keyboard right you looking you looking at the sheet music right and you see the notes and you want to because the singer the singer cannot is not comfortable playing the song in in C in in in, in C major for example so you want to transpose it to G major okay because now uh, he or she is comfortable with uh, with the, with 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 this key with, with this new key so now you all you need to do you know you can go at the, if you don't know on, on on the top of your head how to transpose that song so uh, some players can do some players have the ability some players have the ability to do so they can just the singer say well the, oh you uh, you know the singer say well I'm not comfortable I'm not comfortable with with this key and some players will instantly you know transpose the song without even because they they that good but for for, for those who don't who don't have that kind of ability so what what they do they take the sheet of music and since they know the numbers they know the keyboards they do they know the numbers then they know the numbers of of the keys on the keyboard and they know the numbers of the major scale the numbers they know the the numbers of the notes of the major scale okay so they take the sheet of music and they look at the notes and they and they transpose okay they transpose it's okay they say that's not one okay two I'm talking about on the sheet of music oh this is not three on the keyboard oh this is not four and then they write it down okay one oh this is one oh this is uh, let's see okay the G okay G is uh, in the key of C is five so so the in the key of F I need to find a five okay and then they look at the keyboard and they and they find and they, they find note five for the key of F okay they come here oh let's see boom one two three oh boom, right there as you see so then they write it down they write they write it down on the sheet of music and all of a sudden they transpose the music from the mu they transpose the song from C major to G major just by mapping just by mapping the the notes from from C major to G major. So playing playing by numbers is is very important. In fact, playing by numbers is nothing is nothing new. Because when I was in when I was in in, in college my piano instructor well let me let me let me put it let me put it this way i had some issues with my piano piano instructor because what i wanted to do and and uh, he was right okay i could not in college i could not concentrate on 
Well, at first, I could not concentrate on just looking at the sheet music in front of me. I wanted to look at the at, at the keyboard. I wanted to look to look at the keys to see what notes I'm, what notes I'm playing. And my instructor, I remember what <laughs> what he used to do. Every time I try to look at the keyboard, not the not the music. Because what I what I what I what I what I, what I was trying to do, you know, is to memorize. Okay, is to memorize what I see. Is to memorize what I saw on the, on the book, and then look at the keyboard and play from memory. But that's not what my instructor wanted me to do because the my instructor was a, he he was a classical musician so he was very very strict with us so he didn't want any student in the class he didn't want us look at the at the keys he wanted us to he wanted us to look at the book okay and then and then play what we see but by, by numbers we he wanted us to think of numbers instead of notes so for me Playing, playing by playing by numbers is nothing new, because that's that's what my instructor, my piano instructor in college, wanted us to do. So that's why he he, he, he always he always talked about five five finger pattern, five finger pattern, blah blah blah, kind of stuff, you know. A finger pattern and me I, I I wanted to look at no he wants you to he wants you to look at the he wanted he wanted us he wanted he, he wanted us to look at the at the uh, at the sheet of music and he said play five play three play one play two and then if you know then if you know your your five finger pattern you know, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. So he said, you don't need to look. He told, he told us all the time, you don't need to look at the keys on the keyboard. Just think, just think of numbers. Play two. Play, th play three. Play one, play five, play four. Okay, so now play, play uh, one, three, five, one, four, two. See, even the, you know, the uh, the gurus of music use numbers to play the keyboard so I rest my case alright okay so that said let's try some numbers I am going to uh, I'm going to I'm going to use the first of all I know you don't want to get deep into music, into into mu into music theory, but there's there's uh, a few things you should know. You should know uh, your scale, espe especially your major scales and your minor scale. And I would I would 
I would even I would even say your minor skills but definitely <laughs> sorry about that but definitely your major skills and your natural minor skills you must know that you must know how to build a major triad three a chord composed of three notes and you must know how to turn I'm talking I'm talking about a major triad and you must know how to turn your your major triad to a minor triad when you okay, you okay you must know the difference between major and minor even though you you don't you're not into getting deep in learning music theory but those you must know okay you must know what 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 major what major means you must you must know what minor mean means and you must know your skills because if you if you're going to play melodies if you're going to play melodies you need you need your skills to do so okay you you must know your your you you must you must you must you must know your your triads and it would be it would be a, a good thing if you could learn uh, the the triads major and minor triads in all 12 keys okay so for now when it comes to you okay like I told you you must know your major scale for you to know your major scale and understand them you must know um, you must know something about intervals okay Inter interval is the distance between two notes okay so on the keyboard if you just started to learn there are distances between all the notes the first note on my keyboard which is a C if I play that note and I play the I play the uh, the highest C on my keyboard there's a distance there between the two well in the case of the C not really but uh, just to prove a point physically on the keyboard now if I play a C I'm gonna I'm gonna play it a little higher than that I don't uh, that uh, that sound is uh, way be way down here is a little too muddy so I'm gonna go here C I'm gonna play a C by the way I'm playing middle C and then it is very important to know where where middle C is on the keyboard because you have it you got, you got uh, different C's and mid middle C middle C is 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 some is some kind of point of reference of where you of for example where where you play chords chords and melody stuff like that it's point of reference so if I if I play I'm trying to if you just start if you just started to learn you know uh, to 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 start to 
if you just started if you just started to play the keyboard I'm just trying to show you what is what is a major scale and then why it is called it is called a major scale and what what makes it what is the structure basically basically that's what, that's, that's what I'm trying to say what is the structure of a of a major scale and the structure of a of a major scale is is done by intervals a major scale like any like any scale as a matter of fact a major scale is 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 built you know within intervals okay so if you know how to use your numbers if you if you know the numbers of the major scale and you know the locations of the intervals in the in the major scale you will be able to play a major scale anywhere on the keyboard without even thinking about it all you have to put in your mind is the intervals that made the the particular major scale where are the intervals located where are the intervals located the intervals those are those are distances between the notes okay c major c major scale okay it's going to be It's going to be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then the root, which was the root, always number one in the scale, the root, C, is repeated, okay, after seven, which is now, in, which is now no, note number eight, okay? So, I'm not, right now, don't worry, don't, don't worry about the black notes, okay? Later on, we, we, will say, we will say something about them, but now, forget the black notes, okay? So we go, once again, C, D, E, F. And then octave C. All right. So remember, I told you, I uh, talked to you about about intervals. I'm I'm gonna give you a trick. I'm gonna give you a trick in order for you to understand. In order in order for you to be able to play any major scale on the keyboard. I'm going to give you a trick. Think of two half steps in the scale. Because when you play a scale, that means you play, okay, several notes, one after another, one after another, until you reach a point. Okay, that's a scale. You play the scale, you play each note. You play the scale, you play each note individually, one by one. And blah, 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 blah. I mean, then that's, that's your scale. Now, 
if you I'm I'm gonna repeat what what I just say. If you know two things in image scale, you will be able well if you if you keep two things as uh, as references in your mind you will be able to play a, ma a major scale starting on any note on the keyboard those two things are two half steps within within the scale within the major scale I'm going to explain to you what I, I'm going to explain what I meant first of all you need to know that and uh, an interval is a, is a distance between two is the distance is between two notes two notes so on the keyboard if you if you play the C and you go and you go you play the, you play C sharp you play well I just told you forget about the, the black notes but I'm gonna use it I'm gonna use uh, just to prove a point I'm gonna use uh, some black notes right now uh, okay you play C and then on on the left on the right side of the C note which is, is which is a white key you have a black key now if you play the C the white note and then you play the black key right after it then you just play a half step on the keyboard okay a half step C C sharp that's a half step now if you skip that black note you play the C which is a white key you skip the black key between between C and the next note which is a D you skip the black note and you play you play a D you play you play a whole step one step half step one step or whole step so in the key what you need to remember in any major key in any major scale there are two half steps and the location the locations of those two half steps are very very important for you to know you need to know you always need to know where those half steps are in the major scales in the case of of C major when you play C and you play D that's a whole step you play E that's a whole step, one step, whole step or one step. Okay, start over. May C major scale. Think about step. Think about steps. Think about interval. 
Okay. I'm gonna play C. If I play the next white note, which is a D, that's a whole step. Okay? A whole step is two half steps. Okay? So that's a whole step. Then now I'm, I'm gonna skip the next black note. Because I, I don't want to play I don't want to play another half step. I'm gonna go to the E. Okay, I skip the next the second second black note here. Then I play the E so I play another step. Okay, that's two steps that I, I just play right here right here. Okay, there's whole step, whole step, and now between th between the third note and the fourth note in the in the C major scale, there's a half step. Whole step, whole step, and then now between three and four half step. You need to know where this half you always you always have to know where this half step is located. Well it is it is located between the third and fourth notes in the major scale. And guess what? It's the same, the same concept in any major scale. Okay, you go to F major scale, it's going to be the same thing. There's a half step between note number three and note number four. That's one. Remember, I told you there's the, you need to know two half steps, okay, in this scale. Okay, now we're going to keep going. Okay. We we can we can start over. Okay. See? That's that's the half step. Now we're gonna go from F we're gonna skip that black note, then that's a whole step. Okay, now we got we got G. We got G, we're gonna we're gonna skip the next that uh we're going to skip that black note right after G, and then we're going to play A. That's a whole step. If, 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 I, if I had played the black note, that would be a half step, but I, I skipped that, okay? So, between, between G and A, that's a whole step. Now, between... Now I'm 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 on A now. A I'm gonna skip that black note <clears throat> and I'm gonna play B. Now I'm getting I'm getting ready to go back to the root as octave which is C. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I have so between three between note number three and note number four, you have half step. Between note number seven and number eight, which is uh, which is the octave, you got a half step. <coughs> Sorry. So now you can play the 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 entire scale. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay, so uh, I'm going to stop the I'm going to stop the, 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 the video because I don't want it. Uh, I think it's getting a little it's getting a little too too long. So uh, I'm going to stop now, and the next time. Uh, I will go back and uh, 
and uh, and tackle the all the other numbers that exist within the uh, within the major scale, and then we can uh, because those all the notes, all the all the black notes, also have numbers because the the C major the C major scale we just play we just played is only seven notes plus the octave, but within within the major the C major scale we have other notes that uh, that need to be counted as well. So it's not only because and and that will be the chromatic chromatic scale. So uh, uh, we will tackle that later another uh, at another time. And also we will we will we will we will, we will be playing another uh, another major scale C major scale. So we're gonna and put a number on on um, on every note that we include in the entire process. So meanwhile, stay safe and uh, talk to you later.